Welcome back to Globetrotting. If you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. The A350 family has become a staple of airlines long haul flying right around the world and a new model could be soon launched, dubbed the 350 Stretch or the A350 2000. This has been a variant of hot interest for now over a decade, a model however that is also yet to launch. So with the aircraft re-entering discussions, why is this? What are the prospects for a release, and does this model face any competition? Reports of a new prospective 350 model emerged at the 2025 edition of the Dubai Air Show with the manufacturer's CEO saying that it was studying whether a larger model in the family would be an optimal type to launch at some point in the future, as replacements are required for existing high-capacity jets of the quad-engine type, but even twin-engine. The larger 350 would offer greater capacity than the existing A350 1000 platform, it would seek to address requirements from some customers for larger aircraft as they expect demand to increase in due course and have concerns over what is currently available. The executive saying that a number of customers are actually telling the manufacturer they're interested in a stretch of the plane as it would be a formidable solution for these companies as they look to grow. As a result, Airbus knows it needs to listen obviously to its customers and study something like this. It absolutely though does not mean the plane would go on to launch, but it is always worth listening. Based on initial studies, we know the model would look to seat around 40 additional passengers thanks to the stretch, with higher operating weights requiring further changes to the airframes itself. I'm not necessarily someone that is knowledgeable on the technical side of aircraft, but certainly if you have a look around at forums and more, there are some that do remain a little concerned on how this stretch would take place. It would, however, position the Airbus flagship widebody as a true competitor to the 777X, enabling the business to counter sales of the Boeing flagship by offering its own alternative. Airbus has done pretty well over the last six years by capitalizing on Boeing's misfortunes, turning existing customers of the American manufacturer into its own, ultimately providing probably a more reliable commercial aircraft program. Having a direct 777X competitor in onlookers views might just be the perfect next step as well. Public interest in larger aircraft has heated up in recent months, with these conversations on a public level definitely driven by Emirates, who we know have already pushed Airbus to launch an A380neo time and time again. This A380neo would act as a successor to the A380-800, a model of this no longer in production and one that has significantly struggled to attract the market the plane maker may have envisaged when it was first announced. Ultimately though, the resources needed to build an A380neo would be colossal. You're talking about not just re-engineing an existing model, but bringing that model back to the production floor. And despite Emirates saying it would actually purchase the plane if launched, its calls have thus far gone unanswered. You feel there would need to be many more airlines interested in a potential a 380 your platform for Airbus to truly consider it now in the mid-2020s. As a result, the airline has turned its attention towards more efficient and importantly, in production wide bodies, hoping that these programs, hoping that these programs could be the ones to offer a model that would seat more passengers. One of Emirates' primary reasons for this drive is the persistent concerns it has that airport infrastructure worldwide cannot keep up with the pace of demand. I feel this is a very valid reason if we're being honest. It's probably not talked about enough by certain airlines, but what Emirates feels is it would necessitate larger aircraft to continue being part of the industry so it would be able to transport passengers with less flights. While Emirates currently utilizes its fleet of A380s for these missions, the Super Jumbo, as I've touched on, is no longer in production and Emirates is aware the aircraft will not be able to remain in service forever, so as a result, something is needed. Emirates believes that current models such as the 777 and A350-1000 are obviously still good aircraft, especially the Boeing one, as they've got nearly 300 777Xs on order, but they still feel the planes are maybe not the most adequate. Ultimately, this presents a lucrative opportunity for plane makers such as Airbus to study something a little bit larger in their portfolio, but ensuring that whatever they do study does not forego efficiency, which is a key requirement for airlines in the 21st century. While Airbus is reportedly now interested in moving ahead with that A350 stretch, it will face competition from Boeing, who, shock horror, are also conducting feasibility studies of a new large plane. Boeing's competing offer would be the 777-10, part of the 777X family, and if launched, the highest capacity model in the program, 
and the highest capacity passenger plane that is in production. Emirates' most recent order for 65 of the 777s granted Boeing the backing it believed was necessary to move ahead with a feasibility study to determine whether a 777-10 would make sense. The 777-10 has already demonstrated technical feasibility in the mid-2010s, making it possible. However, studies have to be also conducted to determine whether or not there is sufficient enough demand to release the plane. As always, Emirates has led from the front with its very public calls for a new model, but Boeing will need to first and foremost understand what possible repercussions could be found if it went on to launch such a jet. As for the 350 stretch, this is a plane that's been considered part of the industry for a very long time, even if it hasn't gotten that formal launch. When Airbus was looking to evolve the 350 family, there was a lot of discussion about the, what this stretch could do for the business, even in the 2010s, addressing airlines' concerns. However, such a model was after many years seemingly shut down by the manufacturer, with its executives at the time, and this was in the latter stages of the 2010s, expressing their intent to focus strictly on the existing passenger aircraft portfolio. With hindsight showing, this was probably the right decision. The comments came just months before the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, which put a lot of innovation to a halt, and it's still something now the manufacturer is trying to recover from. But as we reach the midway point of the decade, Airbus has looked towards airlines' calls for larger planes, with the business saying it is only getting more of these by the month. As a result, it feels it is in the perfect position to move ahead with a study on the possibility of launching the jet. Appreciate the support here on Globetrotting. Make sure you're taking care and being safe, and I'll see you back here in a couple of days. And we'll fly.